Welcome to episode 8 of A Plague Tale Requiem, composer walkthrough. I'm Olivier de Rivière, the composer, and today we're going to the island. You know, after a long trip uh, on the sea, on the sea, well, the Mediterranean Sea, uh, our uh, heroes are about to get to the uh, dreamy island that is a real island. So, as you can notice, there is no music, and by now I think you understand that I like when there is no music. I know the game is using music extensively though, uh, but uh, I think that these sort of like amazing ambiences made by the team over there, uh, Aurélien and his team, uh, are a great way for doing a sort of a, you know, decompression uh, hub. It's like previously you had like a lot of music, a lot, you know, it was the storm, it was a lot of things happened. And uh, I think that uh, it's good to have a, a sense of fresh and unknown almost. So basically, uh, I'm going to skip, you know, to when the, the music will come back. What was really important for me and for the team was that uh, Plague Tale Requiem is a sequel and it's always difficult to do sequels because to reach the same sort of um, impact for players, you need to be twice as good as the first iteration. So basically, if we can make it as good as the previous one, it means that it is twice as good. Uh, it's something that I've, you know, I've been doing for a lot of games uh, that uh, luckily I've done the sequel for. So to make it better, in a sense like twice as good, uh, Requiem is about narration and so it's about progressing into something that will engage you all the time. And visuals, narration, you know, dialogues, everything are meant to bring to you every time something fresh. So when we get to the island, um, it was very important for us to make it very unique, fresh, new. It must be great. But also the creative director, he wanted to the give uh, the island a personality, some yeah. sort of like the oh. island has a, a soul and um, it was like a like a character. <sighs> and so it was very important for us to, as soon as you see the island, you understand the mood, you understand the the tone and of course it's linked to the dream and basically in the dream if you remember so chapter one um, you can hear that what is characteristic of the island is the choir and so when you get here and Hugo is calling for Amicia and show the island there is no cello no nothing it's only about choir I believe like this is the feeling that everybody should oh, have duty calls. it's like I'm a so feeling of welcome. thank you mystery Amicia come same music as in the dream look there's something there mystery no cello no nothing full choir shot Feeling of accomplishment. My dreams. Thank you. Whatever's there, we'll find it together. Island explorers. So basically, it's a new vibe that you have in the game now. Completely new. It's so Hugo and Amicia are still. Uh, what? what are you talking about? The Magister Vaudan told me I'm going to die. Talking about Hugo's death. God, no, Hugo, I'm so sorry. Which, for those who play the game, know what it means. Don't be sad. I'm happy to be here. This and now the, the music will just remain in the background with the voices. And as long as the players don't them. activate the next cutscene. So if I, you know, skip. Sorry. You see, it doesn't skip the music. You're in the mood, you have the island over there, the call, the call, you know, that's the island. So I need now to speak to whoever. And I think it was Sophia. Yeah. So, a little 
you know, I put in my music sometimes little sort of uh, hey thingy, and here I couldn't help myself. And uh, I think there is a aloe-esque sort of reference. It wasn't on purpose, but when I felt it, I was like, oh, that's that's fun. So I left it. So you see like choir, choir, the music will switch soon to the cutscene, although it's a cutscene already, but there you go, it's gonna switch. Right here. Hi. So little halo. All right, people, come. My turn. Not here. I'll stay. I'll fix a few things here and I'll right here. Later. Fine. We'll take a tour while it's still light and find a place to sleep. Sounds good. <laughs> By the I mean, way, to me, it's very Halo. It's just a hi, nice. guys. You know, Marty and uh, Michael. Um, and then we go. You know, it's a little bit more. It's darker, of course. And finally, you reach the island, and and now there was a conversation about the mood that we wanted to have here. Um, at first, there was no music, no nothing, but. It was skinning the idea of having the island being a character. And so we thought we need to have the character of the island all the way. And that's what you hear now. Just like the child of embers who watches over our island. Those little sort of like um, phrases uh, were very fun for me to write because basically it was Eric Maria doing some very natural harmonics on the cello. Goodbye. And me writing the wow. choir accordingly to That's the harmonics. Like start, no? And this is what you get here. I wonder... So it's place? far away. The, the bottom line is like, it's not to tell any story. It's not to, it's, it's to illustrate yeah. the island to and the mood. It's well, nothing good. like a story well, now. It's more like, okay, and this is the island, you're right. here. Yes. And without the voices, it, it was a little bit more like uh, grounded into reality so which is something we didn't want to have here well, because like it's between a dream first reality for. the right. the character of the so island it's, hugo de macula it's a bit strange so let's move on well the dancers and musicians are now in place now they're telling that there are the musicians and can't wait to see that th that was something uh, kind of uh, difficult to navigate through sounds nice so that's the island. Something that you're going to hear later on, you know, the next chapter when you are in this sort of like big hub, the, the island. Uh, but the thing is, as you can hear, the choir is not saying any words. As I said at, in the first chapter, the choir here are not to express anything human. It's more um, harmonics nature. You know, it's more about this. Um, and as there is this cult with the count and the countess uh, that is happening and there is a, a sort of a celebration. Uh, we have the choir singing. And what I wanted to do is to do a sort of a style of the singing that would be a little bit close to the island as if it was influenced by the characterization of the island. So these things that you hear now, but with words. And the words are about the uh, divine uh, child so you know that he's coming and uh, he's gonna save the day I don't know so they're preparing and what's so funny is uh, we will get to this location where they're uh, warming up their voices and the people that are doing this are actually Aurelian the uh, audio director and his friend and colleagues uh, singing here it's not the choir that is doing this it's them here. They're here. They must be about to start. Please stick to the rhythm, all right, Lucy? No improvisation. So that's them. So that's fun. You know, they're practicing the song. All right, focus, please. We're going soon. Hurry up. Welcome. Last year was so great. You, you think they'll do better? I know they've been rehearsing for months. Again. I hope they'll cross the main square once again. <laughs> no, it's fun. <laughs> L'enfant, the child. So you're going through. 
Diva, you know, holy child. A local deity the, the island in the background, something a little bit disconnected. It gives, you know, it puts the player into this mood of Aoi, you know, like, oh. He's a god. And next is the, uh, the real, uh, I don't know how to say, procession. So they're singing here, they're playing. And uh, for uh, music design, here what happens is like you have the rhythm there. Da -da, da -da, da -da. Okay, so there is that. And it's in sync with the music that they will start singing soon. I'd like to see you dance. You're so you're going, uh, yeah, Arno is. So you have this rhythm that I've played. And yeah. You hear that the singing and the rhythm are in sync. But it's in source. So that's that's fun to do this as well. Just in time. Wow. Say, would you like to bless them with flowers? I just threw some at them. That's it. Like this. So that's the choir now. It's not the um, the audio team. So it, it gives this feeling of celebration and it's uh, sort of like, um, in my memory, a game that did this perfectly uh, was Bioshock Infinite uh, with this singing and, you know, I'm still in shock with this game, by the way. Uh, so you can hear that the rhythm are still going, the singing is still going, feels very we uh, real. So eventually you reach um, a crowd. What's going on? the big place. And uh, Arno is going to sort of betray you, Amicia, but not Hugo. Um, sorry, sir. You have the count, no music. You don't know who he is. All right. Yes. You all know me. And? I'm not a man of words. Emily, your priestess, she will be here soon. She will open these brighter days with her beautiful words. The music will kick the when Arno will ask Hugo. The mother of the child of embers. The and it's going to be back with cellos. Although, you know, in the this, this, this chapter and the next chapters, it's very, very sparse. But this whole section is a sort of going back to the previous world. So that's why the cello are back as well. Child who protects what? his sacred lands. It's him. From the Come. rats of disease and war. The rats? No, wait. Hey, what so, are you doing? Oh, I forgot about this. Of course, what I did is I put the Arno the Foe theme. Da da dum, da da dum, you know. And then when uh, Amicia and Hugo will run, it's going to be the cellos. Because it's the Count Amicia. We had a deal. Call your rats. Wait, what? That was your deal? That's the foe. So you know the theme. The count for you. you survive. That comes with a price. No. You don't take advantage of a child and call it Synth. a deal on We can't no cello. this way by him. You won't ruin that. Fuck it. Drums. I don't need you. No. Oh, no. I knew it. And now when you're running away, the cellos will come in. I'll take care of him. Catch the girl. No. no. Seamless. From cutscene to gameplay. Seamless. So there's a shift here in the intention because basically it's about Arno, the foe, deceiving the two kids. And then Amicia going and trying to fix things as she's this always trust people, Hugo. doing. Nothing ever stays nice. Arno. It always turns bad. Always. There will be the shift. 
We're going back. It's too late. No. Things aren't always nice, but you can change them. How? So it's a little cello, but the melody is with synth. We stop Arno before he does more damage. We save your dream. So the colors here are more uh, modernized. It's just a sort of an underscore of the wheel, you know, the wheel of the Darun. Like, she will never let go. And we know that. So, let's keep the puzzle and uh, see what's coming up next. Take care of it, Hugo. Yes. Good. Now, careful. Once the puzzle's done, there is a new instrument here coming in, which is the flute. Straight flute. Uh, like medieval flute, if you may. Let's try to follow them. Uh, so, going down, it's going to trigger this new color. And this is the color of the Count and the Countess, the flute. Found you! No, no. Hurry! Get down there! The others are busy, but my birds were three of them! So, some percussions, synth. Stop it. it's too and fast. if I show myself, if what's going to happen is you're going to hear the flutes. I'll try to lure it away. We'll move from cover to cover when it attacks. Get ready. I know where you are. You've got to So here the system is uh, very simple. Is If they see me, the flute's coming. Go, go, go. Oh, you wanna play? Come on, go. So it's an indication for players to be like, okay, they know I'm here or not. One mistake we done. I've been there many times, so that's why I can do it very quickly. You can tell. So these flutes uh, are uh, once again to make something fresh for players. Ending the music, starting a new one. Oh, that was close, but we did it. That bird was flutes now. Now where's that damn honor? Listen. And you'll get why the flute, it's gonna come in very soon. So you, you'll have this cutscene with Arno and the Count fighting. What do we do? Once again, very seamless. Don't like Arno anymore. So this is his army. A girl and a bull. No, wait, Victor, stop. And now, that's the Countess. And listen to the instruments Emily. and the new melody. Don't get carried away. She helped. They're not a threat. Of course, my love. I'll kill you, bitch, Count! I'll teach you what it is to lose what you care for! You can't let go. You've always been a disgrace to the knighthood. So the flutes is there, the new melody is there, there's a new theme, new characters. Of course, we all know that they're not good people. We knew that people would know this. But at this very moment, the Countess sees Hugo and projects on him her own child as she fails giving birth. Amicia. And this is right here. Hugo, my brother. He's a bit afraid. Well, don't be. There was more fright than danger. These days are dedicated to life and peace. Would you agree to be our guests for dinner? You are my life. Sure, you sure. are my child. Emily's right. That's the lyrics. You my life you for you because Come you're my us. child. My son. My soul, my joy, and the joy of my own child. So basically the Countess, you know, unfortunately, she cannot have uh, bear a child and they're trying to do, I mean, the Count in the concept is trying to help her in her, let's say, psychic, and maybe, you know, you never know. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe so, how do you like it could work. Terrace? But um, really to help her uh, having a child, but this all of this, home. All of this it's cult incredible. and things is come, come for the, the Countess to 
let's say, um, think she will uh, be pregnant at some point. And I don't know if uh, she knows that she cannot be and she's trying to find a new kid. I, I, I couldn't say now, you know, but the thing is, basically, she's projected onto Hugo, the child that she didn't or couldn't or will not have. Okay. Uh, now, the loot that you're listening here is just an in-source loot. Oh, it's big. Just to be it some in-source ambience. And, small part of the palace. and we'll move on to oh, uh, the next bit of music. Dates before we show you to your room. Data, don't be so military. We're here, and Hugo is uh, finally me, reaching Hugo. the place he thinks is the solution. And he sees some water. You see and listen. Plants? Most of them are not from here. But we managed to make them grow anyway. And they look great. Thanks to a lot of love and care. We are just no, like them, there are the you flowers, <laughs> the water. And we need a good soil. Everything is about the dream. Do you remember the at the end of the dream, when he's touching the water, to you heard voices here. like this. But of course, the big as if aside, it was a healing right water. Thank so that's so why much. here we have the choir again. Those Very soft. And true words. Let me show you something else. Victor? Of course, Come, Come Hugo. The land here is strong. The child of Ember's you know, It's to express we here what Hugo to celebrate you know, is after. And hope he'll come back to us, as it is foretold. To us. And finally, um, and we will hear a little bit of the cult. The God, so the theme that you had of the, the Count and the Countess is as well the cult that they're singing, uh, you know, the court and the courtesan. And you can hear the cult here they're like practicing Wait. would you pray with me you the can child, the child the uh, child sure will arrive he is a divinity that's the lyrics the child the child it's in source meaning in the scene you can hear it it's going around so that's the same theme that uh, when the Countess is talking to Hugo and you hear the high voices here it's more like slow and it's it's more like an incantation or you know a sort of uh, uh, a call so that's it for uh, chapter 8 um, I hope you enjoyed uh, the next chapter is uh, gonna be interesting because it's gonna be the let's say uh, reunion with uh, Innocence so I hope you had a good time and uh, see you next, maybe. Bye. Thank you for watching.